As you know, I'm meeting with President Putin on Monday, and I think we go into that meeting not looking for so much. We want to find out about Syria. We will, of course, ask your favorite question about meddling. I will be asking that question again. Uh, but uh, we'll also be talking about uh, other things. We'll be talking about Ukraine. Ukraine was here today, by the way. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting to hear what they had to say. So, excuse me? Well, he may. I mean, look, he may. You know, what am I going to do? If he may deny it. I mean, it's one of those things. So all I can do is say, did you, and uh, don't do it again. But he may deny. I mean, well, I'll, you'll be the first to know. Okay? <laughs> I just, just wonder, you think you're going to get along with President Putin at that meeting. Could you just tell us, why do you think that? Is there something you admire about him? And the second question, because you're just about to go to the UK. Well, he's a competitor. Sir. He's been very nice to me the times I've met him. I've been nice to him. He's a competitor. You know, somebody was saying, is he an enemy? No, he's not my enemy. Is he a friend? No, I don't know him well enough. But the couple of times that I've gotten to meet him, we got along very well. You saw that. Uh, they built bridges to Crimea. Uh, they just opened a big bridge that was started years ago. Uh, they built, I think, a submarine port, substantially added billions of dollars. Uh, so that was on Barack Obama's watch. That was not on Trump's watch. Would I have allowed it to happen? No, I would not have allowed it to happen. But he did allow it to happen. So that was his determination. What will happen with Crimea from this point on? That I can't tell you. But I'm not happy about Crimea. But again, that was Barack Obama's watch, not Trump's watch.